last year, the three guys in the front row. It's gotten a lot bigger now. This is nice. It's really nice to see. Every place else closed tonight. Everything is And you guys are all brave. But I was going to write in the email. You guys are all from Cleveland, or at least you live here. Akron? And Akron people don't cry about the cold or the snow. You guys all live next to a lake. And that's because you choose to. And you like frozen ice and lakes in the winter. We brave it. We don't, not like these guys in Texas. And you're filming it, so Texas, you hear me. <laughs> Down in Boston, Texas, where they get an inch of snow and it's just complaints. We don't complain. We brave it. So this is good. Um, this is the uh, JavaScript uh, meetup group. It actually comprises two groups. So we have for some historical reasons, two uh, meetup groups that we kind of pulled together because JavaScript is JavaScript, whether you're doing it in the browser or the client side, and a lot of tooling, you know, when you use Node.js, it, it, it spans both. So we've got almost, you know, similar memberships in both. Some people who are in both, some are only one or the other. Um, so that's really good to see. It's been growing quite a bit. Um, the last time we had a meetup was a few months ago, I think like four months ago, and it was a, we had like 110 members or something. And just, I mean, it's, it's been going up quite a lot. I thought to do the statistics, but I didn't have time. So um, we've done a lot of stuff in the past uh, on a hodgepodge of subjects that all have to do with JavaScript. Um, and really, the theme has been we, we're trying to sort of just grab stuff from the community, like interesting stuff that people are doing out there. I know you guys are all doing cool stuff. There's things here at Highland that they're doing that's really neat. Um, in my business, Cloud CMS. Um, so some of that was talked about. We had uh, talks on uh, tooling for logging, all the way to like advanced stuff that you can do. Um, AMD uh, doing asynchronous uh, modules. And there's just a ton of things that we could talk about. So we're really looking for the community to let you guys to step in and just bring up stuff. Nobody has to be an expert on this. I'm, I'm not an expert in any of this stuff. And yet I stand up here. And I find that if you talk like you know what you're doing, people may believe you. You know, and it's kind of nice. But the nice thing is it inspires conversation. So that's really the big idea. Um, we got a lot of like ideas and things we could talk about. Like some of the most interesting things I think that, that are happening are kind of in the build space. You know, there's a lot of tooling for that. Um, and especially down in the node library space, I, I do think so far in how we approach things, it's tend, tended to be a bit on the browser side, but there's a lot on the back end in terms of libraries and plugins and modules for node that we could go into. So um, that's going to be uh, stuff we'd like to see in the future. If anybody wants to step up, speak about it, talk about your project, talk about yourself, uh, you know, put, put some stuff out there that. Uh, we can grab onto and talk about as a group. It's cool. Um, so, and also, yeah, I want to mention this careers opportunities thing. This is something I'm really big about. Is that I'd like to see everybody kind of network and find more opportunities for you know for your own careers, but also things you could offer other people and ways to sort of involve uh, college students, some of the incubators around town. Uh, Dan's going to talk about some of this stuff uh, coming up, but there's just a lot that we can do for each other, and I think that's really cool. So. Sponsorship, uh, Highland Software, that's here. Um, and then Cloud CMS is my business. You know, we pay for the food and Highland pays for the drinks and provides the space. Uh, it's all kinds of ways to arrange it, and, and, and some of that we'll see in a moment. Uh, I'll mention about Highland. I don't work at Highland, right? I, I don't. But uh, I'll say one thing about them. They were voted uh, top of, in the top 100 places to work by Fortune Magazine. And they had like, this really cool thing that was in January. So that's pretty cool. And there were like two other places in Ohio that, that were on that list that they weren't in Cleveland, so I don't think. So that's pretty neat. Um, I think this is a really cool company. They're a .NET kind of company. They do JavaScript and a whole bunch of other things with their .NET backend. So if you have that skill set, a uh, really cool place to uh, check out if you're looking for career opportunities, or if you know people who are looking for career opportunities. Um, and then there's my business as well. Um, I don't intend to sell you guys, but if anybody wants to do cool consulting work or cool development work or awesome sales stuff, reach out. I'd love to be in touch. We are growing and we need people, uh, just as I'm sure Highland does. And also, I want to mention this. Um, uh, Dan will talk a bit about this too, but we've brought on two more sponsors. So um, one of them is Level 7 and the other one is the Shaker Launch House.
House. And the primary driver behind this, uh, I have to give a lot of credit to Dan, um, got involved and has been helping make this happen. Uh, these guys are two more places around town that let us spread the load out. There's about, like, there's more of you guys out there, and a lot of people, they go and they look at the map and they say, my goodness, where is Westlake? It's way out there. Forget it. You know, it's too cold. They're not like you guys. You know, they fear the lake, all that kind of thing. So, we found some other folks who can help us kind of put other meetups more frequently in different parts of town that will kind of let us uh, get more topics, have more uh, frequent events, and hit uh, like different parts of town for different demographics. So it's kind of cool. Um, so here I did this for you guys. It's not all, you know, there's a map of Cleveland from Google Maps. Look at that, how about it, see? We spread it out. I think I got the locations kind of right, sort of. <laughs> I'm not from Cleveland, see, so I don't know much. But I am from Wisconsin, so I'm with you on the whole. Are those dots are like 25 mile radius? Yeah, <laughs> that's all we can get. So if you live, if you live here, you know, too bad. Highly accurate, not terribly precise. Sure. <laughs> yeah. But you know what I will say about it that's kind of cool. I mean, uh, um, the Shaker Launch House guys, for example, that's they're like an incubator out there. They've got all these entrepreneurs sitting around on desks and they're all building stuff. And they, they're really excited about this because JavaScript is very key to building the kind of applications that they're doing. And so they can bring kind of a fresh, sort of startup y, you know, young entrepreneurial quality to it. I think that's going to be kind of neat um, going forward. So uh, this is a big bit of news. Uh, Dan Schultz here is uh, joining the uh, organizers. And he's he's been awesome. Like, I, I have to give Dan a ton of credit for this. Um, in the, the past few months, he's really stepped up and helped make all this kind of stuff that we're now to here happen. Um, you may know Dan for his talk that he gave on uh, JavaScript, so even easy, even a caveman can do it. I tried to find a picture of Dan. That's that's all I could find. <laughs> yeah. It turns out it deresin if you make it bigger, so that's as good, that's as good as it. But Dan's going to be talking um, in a bit. Um, here's what we're going to cover today. Uh, today's talks are primarily, this whole thing is about Angular, uh, uh, which is a really, I mean, in my own view, we've been waiting for, my company, we've been waiting for a long time for all oh, JavaScript framework, any JavaScript framework, MVC, web kind of to step up and be the leader. Um, look, you know, Ember, we're looking at Backbone, we're looking at all these different kinds of libraries that you could use that really would let you build apps uh, descriptively inside of a container, if you will. And Angular really seems to be like, you know, igniting people. It's sort of taking off. So we wanted to do something that was just focused on that. Um, Dan's going to talk about some of this stuff that we're doing. It's big, exciting stuff. And he's also going to go to some JavaScript uh, exciting things that we want to open up with. And then we're going to go into two talks on Angular. James is going to give one. And uh, Anurag is going to give the other. And I think that's it. That's going to be our, our group for today. So, I will uh, pass it over to Dan. Should you have an internet on there? Oh, uh, you read about it? Sorry. Well, I have a report, unfortunately. I didn't try to get the internet. Oh, that's okay. Just swap it out. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. 